Welcome to my Monday video. Today I'm going to do the Holly Jolly Tag. All of our learning. I'm going to answer all kinds of questions all about Christmas time, which I absolutely love Christmas. So let's get started. All right, first question is favorite Christmas movie? I am obsessed with Elf. I pretty much know every single line from Elf. I love it. I quote it all, all season long. I just like to smile. Smiling is my favorite. You're not Santa. You don't even smell like Santa. You smell like beef and cheese. Santa! I know him. Bye, buddy. I hope you find your dad. Are you on the naughty list or the nice list? I think I'm on the nice list. I really do. But it's kind of a weird question anyway. So I'm just going to say I'm on the nice list. Next question. Show us an embarrassing Christmas card photo. OK, one year, me and my family decided we have a camera. Let's just take our own Christmas card photos. So we did. and. <laughs> first one is of me, my brother, and sister, and me and my sister are supposed to act mad at each other, and Jimmy's supposed to be the peacekeeper, something like that. Um, and then the other one, my dad decided that, thought it would be funny if me and Jimmy held Cassie upside down <laughs> so that she looked mad and we were like ganging up on her. So those are kind of funny and embarrassing. <laughs> All right, next question is, have you ever had a white Christmas? I did. I actually lived in Idaho for about eight of my Christmases and we had always had white Christmas, snowy Christmases where we'd go outside and throw snowballs after we opened their presents. <laughs> Next question is, where do you usually spend your holiday? I usually spend it at my house with my family in our living room just enjoying each other. When we did live in Idaho, we would sometimes come down and do a little something with um, the family in California, um, but usually it's just immediate family in our house and it's really nice. Next question is, play or sing your favorite Christmas song? I do not know. I've been singing like a bazillion Christmas songs and I don't know which one's my favorite. I think it might be Santa Baby. What's the next part? Next question is, do you open your presents on Christmas Eve? We don't. I always make sure that we save them all for Christmas morning, and Christmas morning we come down and we open all our presents, and it's some, just like the most awesome feeling when you come down. And we always like to save our presents so that we bring them down on Christmas Eve night while we're all sleeping, but we all like do it in different times. Like we have to come down in sections. So that on Christmas morning, there's like tons of presents. We're like, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Can you name all of Santa's reindeers? Okay, I'm gonna try. <laughs> okay, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and of course the most famous reindeer of all. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, I think I did that, that's pretty good. What holiday tradition are you looking forward to most this year? My most favorite holiday tradition, actually we just did a few uh, days ago, and you can actually watch it on our daily vlogs. So you should go check it out, I'll have it linked below. Um, but it is decorating our beautiful Christmas tree, which I am sitting right behind, or right in front of. Every year we decorate it as a family, we play Christmas music and we decorate. Um, and I always write a letter from the year before, you know, just something like encouraging and funny and fun. And it's like we all sit down and we read the letter from the year before. And it's something I've been doing for years and years. And that's probably my favorite Christmas tradition. Next question is, is your Christmas tree real or fake? The one I'm sitting in front of right now is real. I am a real Christmas tree girl. I like real Christmas trees. I like the smell of them. I like the fact that they make your house disgusting. I'm just kidding because the needles fall everywhere and it's really annoying. But I really like real Christmas trees, but I actually have one in my bedroom as well, and it is fake. Wah, wah, wah. Hands down, what's your all-time favorite holiday food and holiday sweet treat? I think that definitely my hand, my favorite like Christmas treat is peanut butter balls. I make those every year. They're like a family tradition that we also do. And actually, on Wednesday's video, I'll be showing you how guys how to make those peanut butter balls. They're so delicious, and it's really easy and really fun. Next question is: Be honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? I'm being totally honest here. I like to give gifts. I ever since I was a little kid. Me and my brother would save our money and we would always buy presents for my mom and dad because we always wanted them to have like the best Christmas ever because they always, when we were little, obviously bought us presents, but sometimes they'd have like one gift. And so we'd always go out and we'd buy like a ton of gifts, even if they were really stupid, because we just wanted them to open tons of 
your presents just like we did. Next one is show us your tackiest Christmas attire. I used to have like a really ugly sweater that I actually really enjoyed wearing and I would wear it um, during Christmas time, but I can't find it anywhere. So I have to get a new one. I love ugly sweaters and I think it's important during Christmas time to have an ugly sweater. What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? That is a really hard one. I've never really thought about that. Honestly, during Christmas time, I want to be with family. I wouldn't think about like traveling. But if I were to, we'd probably just want to go up to the mountains. We like to go up to Idlewild, um, which is kind of a nearby mountains that we like to do, and that would be really fun. Not actually, we did do that for holiday. So next question is: Does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make? I don't have necessarily a recipe, but we do make peanut butter balls, like I mentioned earlier, and it's something that my family has been doing for many years. Are you a pro present wrapper, or do you fail miserably? I fail miserably. I do not even try. I don't like to spend a lot of money. If I did, maybe I could make it nicer and put like boxes and ribbons and bows. I usually just wrap it up and slap some tape on it. Next question is: Most memorable holiday moment. Okay, so a few years back, me and my family moved to Idaho, and before we could do so, my dad had to be transferred there through his job, but his job transfer fell through right before we moved. So he decided that we're gonna go ahead and move us all up there, and then he was gonna come back here and have to stay here. It could be anywhere from two weeks to a year. Um, and so he moved us up around September, and it had been months, and we still hadn't seen him, and it was really hard, because we love my dad, and my mom and dad are super close, and so we were gonna have to spend like the whole holiday season apart. Um, we knew that he was going to be able to come up for maybe like Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and he'd have to leave, um, but we were really bummed about it because my mom was going to have to like Christmas shop alone and we'd have to like spend Christmas time apart. And so one night, about a few weeks before Christmas, my mom and dad were talking on the phone and we, me and her were actually out shopping. They were talking about what they'd been doing. They hadn't talked all day because my dad had been at like the movies and hanging out with his dad and doing a bunch of things. So we got home, me and my mom, and we walked in the door. My mom and dad were still talking and my dad says, all right, um, I better go, I'm home now. And my mom thought that was a really weird thing to say because, well, he wasn't home. And she, so she said to him, you're not home. If you were home, you'd be here. And all of a sudden, we got a knock at the door. And my mom opened the door, and it was my dad. And he had tricked us and had made, it think, made us think he wasn't going to be able to be there for the holiday time, but he was actually able to be there for a while and stay a couple weeks. And it was really, really awesome. It was probably like the most amazing moment for my dad to like trick us and like show up on our front door. We were all so excited and crying, and it was like the best thing ever. So that's definitely my most favorite holiday mem memory. And I'd love to hear your favorite holiday moment. Leave it in the comments below. That's just probably so special. And I think it's important for us to always have that special moment for during the holidays. All right, next question is, what made you realize the truth about Santa? What about Santa? <laughs> He's real, right? Next question is, do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? I don't really make that kind of commitment to myself because I don't want to fail. <laughs> I hate making like certain resolutions because I don't like to fail and guess what? There's like a, it's like a huge percentage of people who fail their, their New Year's resolution and I think that you should always have um, goals, not just at the New Year. Next question is, what makes the holiday special for you, family? Spending time together, I think that Christmas time isn't about presents, it's about loving each other and spending time together, and that is the most important thing. All right guys, that's it for my Holly Jolly tag. I'm gonna go ahead and tag Brittany Newell, Rachel Talbot, and Danielle Baby Bliss. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, and because it's Christmas time and you should thumbs up my video. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel because I put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I'll see you guys in my next video, and have a Merry Christmas, bye what was wrong, I would nurse him, it wouldn't work, I would try and hold him, rock him, everything. I, nothing would calm the child, and it's not like him. I usually can calm him pretty easily. Um, and so, yeah, you, you had something was wrong, huh? So the next day, um, he was exhausted, and I still